One of the most common things that people want to do with their model-driven apps is, can I show the list of related records in the actual view? Let me show you how you can go from this to this in under five minutes. From your solution, you want to click here and switch to classic. It is strange that a new thing still requires the classic interface, but go with it. It's worth it. We're not questioning it. <laughs> Open up the entities tab. That's the old word for tables and click on the table that is the parent table. So here I've got a recruitment app where we've got roles and I want to see the applications underneath. From here, we're going to click on that controls tab, add a control and scroll down and find the Power Apps grid control and click add. Make sure that you enable it here across the devices that you're working with. Now, what we need to do is have a look at this here, child items preview. Click on edit and you want to choose which is the child table. So I've got my roles and I want to see the applications that go with each of those roles. So I'm going to choose applications here. Incidentally, these are all custom tables and it's working absolutely fine. And which view would I like to use to view them in the view? <laughs> all right. And click OK. After you've done that next step, child items, parent ID. We click edit in here and you just need to choose what the lookup field is from the child record up to the parent. So in this case, from application, I look up to role and OK. The bonus beauty points here are still within five minutes. We're going to go down and click on the one called Enable Option Set Colors because people also do like a little bit of color in their display. Change that to yes. Click OK. Save. I should have set a timer. I'm well under five minutes here. <laughs> and this part might take up a bit of my time. One. Publish. Nearly there. All right. Close down that tab. Now, the other thing you're going to want to have done if you like those colors is when you set up your options, choose the colors on the side here. I recommend light or pastel colors because it's going to come up with the words on top of it. Let's do this. Now, incidentally, I'm also using the new look switched on here. You don't have to be doing that, but quite liking the new look. Give it a try. Refresh my app. Oh, I'm doing this live to prove that I really can do it in under five minutes and it takes a minute or so to come through. Here we go. This is looking more promising. Okay, look at that. Now, roll status, open, filled with my colors. You'll see what I mean about the pastel colors in there. And let's have a look at the account manager job here and open that up. And here we go. I've got all of these applications. I can still do all the usual things that I would want to do with sorting and filtering in here. So I could filter by, have a look at what was the successful applicant. And that's all good in there. How amazing is this? You can also do this in a subgrid as well. How oh, there we go. Well under five. I think that was more like about four. So that is how you can create nested child grids inside your Canvas apps. Give this video a like if it was helpful. Thanks for watching.